If you're like me, you're probably broken Wild Hearts because you make a bunch of weapons. You want to have different elements for those weapons, maybe some crit builds just for funsies to try and min-max a little bit. Now, the question is, how do you make gold on this game efficiently? There's pretty much one to two ways right now that are like really fast. One of the ways is doing the new hunt they added with the Grimstalker addition to the game, and that is Days of Hunting Gleaming Gold. Gleaming gold makes sense because you get a lot of freaking gold from this. You get three gold ores. I think those sell for like 1,500 gold each, something like that. You also get one coin from each of the monsters you kill, which the monsters aren't very hard. It's like a freaking mighty dreadclaw, I think, a pearl beak, and then a mighty lava back. The hardest thing for me to kill in this whole group in terms of like duration of time to kill it is the lava back. That's the annoying one. But regardless, I can do this hunt from start to finish, basically queuing in from Minoto and then getting back to Minoto in around seven ish minutes if i do kind of fast that is around 9600 gold in seven minutes now if you wanted to if you're a at the game you could also try and do these fisherman requests as you hunt the monsters because they're not crazy monsters to kill especially the pearl beak and the dread claw so use a bow boom you get the, the marks from that and you're chilling speaking of which can we please increase the money received from this nerd because my god the allowance is not allowancing. The allowance is not allowing me to make more money. In any case, let's go ahead and talk about how I approach these hunts. If I'm not doing the guild fisherman quest and using different weapons, I'll be freaking spamming that cannon. And in this case, again, doing the somewhat illegal strat of farming my cannon charge off this target dummy. Not a big deal because you can farm it off the critters too. So it's not like that big a thing, but it does save you some time because the critters move, the target dummy doesn't. It's nice. Now, this monster gets absolutely demolished. I believe that every single time I fight this Dry Claw with my current cannon build, it is a one and done beam. And sometimes it dies before the, the actual payload hits it, payload being this final shot. But as you saw, literally dead in seconds. All right, one beam is all it takes. Falling in love with me. And in this situation, killed it very fast. It does give us one coin, like I said earlier. Each of the monsters give a coin. And you get talismans too, but the talismans aren't nothing right home about, especially when you're farming the in-game monsters. But you can sell them for gold, I guess. That one to give me talisman. So as we see, farming the cannon charge off a small kimono. And the way I do that, I just get real close and personal, and I beam it. Now I do use these celestial anchors. I used to hate them, but now I use them to traverse. This monkey is annoying. Almost every time I fight it, it runs away. And where are the weak points, dog? I saw a little bit of a weak point for like a second or two, like the top of his head, but it's not consistent, man. I think that makes this fight a lot harder than it has to be. You just, you don't ever hit for weak damage or weak point damage. And now I'm trying to get my, my damage in, farm a little mortar strike from using the anchor. By the way, anchor's cracked for every weapon, bro. I used to hate it, now I love it. And it's crazy how the turns have tabled. Trying to harpoon it just to get damage in. This is the one monster I use traps on. It's this one and Pearl Beak because I don't want them running away. The goal is to kill them quickly. As you can see, it's already trying to run. It's mad. I'm going for uh, some illegal shots right here. Illegal beamage. Thank the Lord I topple it with that last shot, so it's concussed a little bit. I could get in front of it, place a trap, but I don't think I have to. I'm doing some acrobatics, freaking cannon shots. Going absolutely ridiculous with it, redonkulous. And it's gonna go ahead and die to this final mortar strike. Later, brother. I think that this monkey tends to drop me a talisman, so it's like a little bit of extra gold. Nothing too crazy. I do have a charge going into the next fight, which I will go ahead and traverse all the way over to that pearl beak, which I could just teleport because the pearl beak is usually on the beach and there's almost always critters in that area. So to save yourself some time, don't worry about traversing all the way over there with this beam. Instead, just walk over there. I'll go ahead and take this time to thank our sponsors for today's video. Me. I make the videos, thumbnails, all stuff myself. I'd appreciate a like and a comment. It would go a long way, all right? And I got some questions. Would y'all want to see me do some more playthroughs of this game using uh, weapons? Like, for instance, Bladed Wagasa only. Katana only. That's like the last one I would do because Katana is kind of not my not cup of tea. Uh, Nadachi only. Just for fun, right? To give you an idea of what I do to, to progress with the game. If you're new to the game, you'd be like, oh, that's what he does. That's what he does here. I could make those videos like the full, like, 10 hours it takes or I could do what I do with the hammer which is a video I recently made using hammer only I did like one hunt with the blade of Wakasa but for the most part hammer only 
So let me know if that'd be something you want to see. If so, a comment being like, yo, that'd be sick. would be lit. And I really should have just walked over there, bro. This would have saved me a minute and a half or two minutes of just traversing. What am I doing, man? Again, when I get to the Pearl Break, you're going to see all the small critters on the island that are right there. And in my case, I have five tents. One tent is right next to this monster. I could have just walked to it. Sometimes I do things that make me question if I'm sentient. Like, there's a crab right there. I could have freaking snub-nosed the crab with the cannon and then boom, had full meter. Extra. But... Am I okay? What am I doing? I maybe I didn't have full kinodes. The Pearl Beak's a knower. The Pearl Beak is aware, bro. This monster and the uh, Lava Back, those two things just know that there's someone near them. Like, they got the nostrils of, of an actual god. A Pearl Beak... It doesn't die usually in one one beam. I'm pretty sure I've never one beamed it with my current build. I could maybe find a way to do it. But uh, when you don't one beam, you want to build a harpoon so it can't run away. And you could also build a, cha a uh, chain trap in front of it. So when you figure out where it's walking towards, build a chain trap, walk into it, and you're chilling. But in this situation, it got did. And in general, this hunt took about... 7 minutes and 30 seconds from starting in Minoto and leaving Minoto, or going back to Minoto. And uh, it's pretty quick. The second most efficient way to make gold in this game isn't exactly ideal, but it is kind of cool. It's the Guild of Fishermen. Now the problem with this is again, it doesn't give you that much gold. 9500 gold. You make 9400 from the hunt, but you can do these sort of quests while working towards the gold and also be doing other stuff. For instance, Hunt 30 small kimono using a bladed wakasa. Not ideal. That weapon kind of sucks versus hunting small monsters, but queue into like Haragasumi way on level one or chapter one or chapter two, and they're weaker. And you also get meat needed to make good uh, meals to do more damage. So at least it's somewhat effective at tackling more than one thing at a time. It's just the dude needs to give more gold, man. That is not enough. That is not enough gold. And I do really appreciate the fact that we have this hunt now. This hunt is sick because not only do you get a grip of gold, but you also get to hunt lower level monsters like Mighty and whatnot that let you have the ability to get their parts. So not only are you getting gold, you're also getting parts necessary for making armor or more importantly, making weapons. Like going down the weapon trees you want to to make cool new pieces of gear. I appreciate the heck out of that and I hope they do more things like that maybe even have one in the weaker area you know maybe it doesn't give as much gold but that way you can just hunt multiple things which when you hunt multiple things like this you actually save resources on food because being able to use just like one meal to hunt three things is dope now that's the video hope you like it and appreciate y'all very much have a good day or night thank you